hello friends last day we discussed about the uh, how to install express how to install nodemon and we discussed about the routing concept in express and here we are getting some things here so here we are getting the home page and if i just want to get the blog link so we'll get the blog right so now if i just want to create a html page and if i want to load that then how can i do this right simple node.js express framework provides the simple things so let's create some html files so just go here and let's create a folder that is suppose public and inside the public folder we will store all the things so just create a folder public and inside the public folder uh, let's create a um, uh, index dot html or let's create another two files that is home sorry home not home that is blog dot html or you can write uh, contact us dot html right so in this way we are creating three files and let's use the html boiler template and simply just i am not going to uh, explain all the uh, designing part but i want to show you how to render the html page through the node.js so simply write uh, suppose home and inside the h1 tag uh, just write this is home page right and just copy all those things and paste it here also here and let's change the title contact us also write this is contact us page and also here this is blog and this is blog page right so these three files are here now the thing is how we can access this index.html or blog.html so basically in node.js if i can access this folder that means we can access all those things right so for now i just closing all those things uh, hello home page right so i just uh, removing this thing and inside the here we will just load the html page right so i just remove all those things we don't need this so actually to send anything to the browser we need to use the app send and now we are going to send the html page so we will have some different methods so before that let's try to access this public folder right so inside the public folder all the things here so to access this so let's require the path so simply create another uh, constant variable so simply create constant path or you can use late where anything's like no matter so if you change this as a constant it will be more better right so why we are using constant basically constant cannot be overridden and one time it can be declared right so simply write path equal to uh, require path okay so path is included and let's use this so how can we use this so simply just console uh, dot log and let's check what we actually getting in the directory name so if i just use simply this javascript things that is the underscore underscore dir name means directory name so just go here we can see uh, home hp desktop node express right so inside this directory name we are getting all those things now we need to go inside node space slash public folder so how we can do this simply we can add the public here so here what path actually doing so let's create a, another variable so simply write let and i want to create a variable like a public path right so we will use this public path everywhere and let's use path dot join that is directory name and my folder name is public so let's add this now if i just going to console log these things let's see how we getting or what actually we are getting public path so just here we are getting the node express public so that is the important things so we can access this right now the thing is we need to use the index.html when we just run these things and we need to use the blog html if i just use slash blog.html 
so simply just use response so i want to send the response to the browser so simply write response and we need to send the file so simply write send file and we'll use this public path and here simply use the template literal and use this curly braces and we will use index dot html right and in the same way just copy this and inside here public path actually we are getting the full directory and the public and then we are just calling the file name that is for home page we are calling index.html for blog we just uh, calling blog.html and for contact us we are just calling contact us.html right so for now we don't need console log so actually we tested it what is inside the console log so simply close this with no need of these things so simply remove this right and as we are changing in the uh, html file sometimes it's not loaded so let's restart the node demon once again and we can get the output so simply just refresh this this is block page and this is blog and if i just use simply slash or uh, we can see this is home page so basically these things actually coming from here this is home page and if i just use the contact us so we'll get the contact us also right so in this way we can render any html file through the express and it's very simple so hope you will like this video and still if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section next day we are going to discuss about one of the template engine in the node.js express framework right so as we are using the dot html file so inside the express we have a dot ejs file so we'll discuss about that things from our upcoming video so it may have two three tutorial on ejs and we can uh, create a real life application so if i just want to create any uh, web application or any websites using node we can use the node templating that is the express templating actually ejs we can use ejs so from next day we're going to start about the ejs and we can discuss about the features of expressjs like uh, medialware and there is lots of things so we'll discuss these things step by step so if you love this video please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye